Good morning, my friends. We're back on the Morning Mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast. And I might just introduce myself here for those of you who are new. My name is Kerry Green, and I'm so glad you've joined us. This is our attempt as brothers and sisters in Christ to set our minds in the right place to face what is coming in this day. We don't know what it is. Sometimes we think we do because we have meetings planned or places to go and people to see, as they say. But we really don't know what's coming. We could get that call that a family member has passed away. We could get that call today. We could get that call from a doctor saying that the test results are in and we have a cancer. That could happen today. We could be in a car accident today. I mean, just on and on and on the list goes of the possibilities. And yet, we are called as believers in Christ to have an attitude of faith in the midst of such circumstances. And an attitude of faith is not just a hopeful, wishful thinking thing. It's a confidence based on objective truth. And the objective truth is that our God is in the heavens. And our God is good. He is loving. He is all-powerful. He is always present and ever wise. And He does exactly as He pleases. That may sound like kind of a cavalier statement, but that's actually a passage of Scripture. It says our God is in the heavens, and He does everything He pleases. And the reason I interjected all those truths about God Himself in between the first phrase and the last phrase of the verse is because the verse is not very comforting to us if we don't know those things about our God. If we just say our God is in the heavens and He does everything He pleases— But we don't know he's loving. We don't really believe that he's wise. We don't really believe that he's all-powerful, et cetera, et cetera. Then we find ourselves kind of at a loss when we hear a verse like that because we're not certain what difference it makes to us. In fact, we could even be a little skeptical or cynical. And for God's people, those attitudes are so unbecoming because he has done so much in us and for us. And our goal is, as believers in Christ, is to trust Him more, to know Him more. And what I would submit to you is that the more we know Him accurately from His Word, the better we're able to trust Him. Isn't that true? The more we know God, the more we find ourselves able to trust Him. And so today, as we look at the possibilities, both good and bad, We have the opportunity to set our minds and to grit our teeth and determine in our heart of hearts, I am going to trust my God today, whatever may come. I'm always challenged and inspired at the same time by Job when I read the book of Job. And his wife is responding in emotion, which is very normal. She's responding to the loss of their children. She's responding to an illness that has come upon her husband all of a sudden. All these things that are outside of their control that they didn't expect that came on them. And she's responding in the typical way we tend to respond. She says to Job, why don't you just curse God and die? And you see behind that statement is a lack of understanding or a lack of remembering or a lack of belief that God truly is good and that he is loving and that these circumstances have first come through those filters, if you will, before they've gotten to us. You see, she had forgotten, which we often do too. And I'm inspired and encouraged by Job's response to her. He doesn't get angry at her. He doesn't lash out at her. He says, even though he slays me, Still will I trust him. So Job takes his mind to the very worst that could happen and says, even though God slay me, I will trust him. That's a powerful thing. That is the kind of faith we are to have because God is worthy of it. And we don't always understand what he's doing in this life, in our lives. Yet we are to trust him. Let's talk more about what it means to truly trust our God on tomorrow's episode. 